Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. If they decide to do a cargo search, we're gonna be in trouble. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just gonna forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Something wrong? Talk. About what?
Yes. You thinking what I'm thinking? These jungles are filled with long, narrow paths. Dumb beasts that just keep charging at you. This place is perfect for mines. If the carcasses were worth anything, you could make a fortune.
what is it? This shall not stop us for long.
let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. That is not the skeletal remnant of a war long past. That is a recent kill. It appears that Duxon isn't as abandoned as we would be led to believe. I cannot say for certain. What I do know is our path came here for a reason, but let us press forward. You may find the answers you seek. Yes. You got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? We claimed this room decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? We expected as much. Few visit Duxon by choice. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. This may prove of use to us. Let us hear his words and see if they hold any value. You are coming with us. I'm supposed to escort you peacefully, but the alternative is quite acceptable. So your choice is follow us as our guest or see how Mandalorians have earned their reputation.
Uh, scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. It's Mandalorian business, not yours. I could, but I don't know you. Once I get to know you, I might tell you more. But not now. Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful. Or something that'll show what you're made of. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you have to do is flip the switch. We want to keep a low profile, so we've recalled all our patrols in the jungle. Setting off some high explosives isn't a textbook example of subtlety. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. Even if you survive the traps, it would require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access code. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. Canucks are nothing more than pests, but they have a real talent for screwing up plans. Just get to those explosives in the next day or so, and you'll be fine. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you.
I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. Hmm, good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear back. Our number is 12. Our training holds us. The galaxy will fear us once more. Oh. Alright, stand back. Let's see if that. Sits blood! Fixing anything in this rot infested place is an uphill battle. This jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. You're trying to help Mandalore. If you can fix the power problem I'm having, I'll put in a good word for you. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech can be corroded by the jungle are at least ten years old. I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox ain't it. That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance, but if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. They're vermin! No challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. Just gut every canock you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. Check the cash manifests, and that's the only one that was in storage. It's probably the only working converter on this moon. Just gut every canock you come across. You will... All right, then. Come back when you have the converter, and we can see about getting these systems working again. Signals. 
what signals? It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. If you want to pitch in, go ahead. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side of camp, just south of the hangars. Look for the sparking wires, and he won't be far. We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed.
a moment. That beast there. Do you see it? The force flows even through these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, primal urges, every breath dominated by the needs of the moment. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its thoughts? Yes. Like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it, carefully and slowly. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. With the Force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson. I'm Kumis, a Mandalorian warrior. My brothers believe me dead. Without aid, they shall soon be right. A patrol was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarka, my commander, told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pets were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack, so I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. You must have cleared a path to the beast coming here. If you take care of the Boma Beast, I can make it to safety. My blaster rifle's been useless ever since I used it to bash in a Canuck skull. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast and I will be able to return to camp. Don't touch that button, it'll blow up all my charges!
grateful for your help, stranger. I am returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. I have only one request. Please, don't mention this incident to anyone.
like the sound of that. I think you've just stirred up a Minoc nest. <laughs> Let's move out. Yes. Good to go. Let's move out. Yes.
in. I'm good to go. I hear you. Ready? Stand back. Let's move out. What is it? doing out here? It's dangerous for your kind. I am a Mandalorian scout. I don't go on patrol. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. Yeah, from what little we could pick up on sensors, it was bigger than your ship. Most likely a freighter or a dropship. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout, and pretty green, too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. None of these visitors are. They don't know their terrain very well. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? 
little squeamish. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not planning on killing them unless I have to. But people do have a habit of shooting at Mandalorians on sight. If so, I wouldn't mind a good fight. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths, and I don't want them to slip by. If we spot any scouts, we'll need to take them out fast before they can warn their companions. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts, if you're up for it. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. Talon. He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's him! Get him! the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. Do you find anything? Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian War. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp.
spread out into the jungle. Stay alert. Our patrols keep the area clear of the more dangerous beasts, but a lot of the smaller ones still infest the pass. Let's go. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakig. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. 
How many Kanaks did you have to kill to find those parts, Vazuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi, such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the hunts. Kelbor was a scout for the Duros on Frontier World. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed, the future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. He is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Uh, one, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
Thank you. 